Hey, 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 welcome back to our Monday Live, guys. It's Monday Live with MJ and Mr. Amaze, your source of good news where you start your week on a brighter side. It's July 4th, where we celebrate our Independence Day weekend. And our topic today is about checking in and what's going on and why is it that we have something like we call calculus and uh, the law of motion and the law of gravity, who invented it or who actually discovered it. So back in 1600, Sir Isaac Newton actually discovered the power, the law of motion, and the law of gravity from a pandemic, just like we're experiencing right now, guys. We are in pandemic right now. So that was the great plague in London that happened in 1665 to 1666 that he stayed at home from college. And he was studying something that forces one object will never move because no external force has forced it to move from one place to another. Just like what's going on right now. Maybe in our faith side, in our spiritual side, there's gotta be an external force that will keep us feet grounded so that we will remember where we came from. Who is our creator? Who made this earth beautiful? And it's a check of spirituality as well. So it's time for this pandemic time to also like reflect on that, on our spiritual side. And on our emotional side, a lot of our families are lonely and they really haven't talked to a lot of family members. So why don't we check on them as well? Why don't we have that force be that energy for them and re-energize them, especially that we are extended right now. We are extending our pandemic and it's so hard for lonely people right now being alone at this time. And for our physical side, we are staying at home and our only recreation is refrigerator. So make sure that we exercise, we go outdoor and we actually wear our masks. Like Sean will be talking about this mask from my good friend D. Thank you very much for creating this beautiful mask, which is reversible, pink. And so just be very cautious as well of your health for your physical side when you go out and exercise to always wear your mask. In recognition of Sir Isaac Newton for his invention and the fact that he actually invented the law of motion and law of gravity because of an incident from an apple tree, which is another story. Outside the family home, that the legend of Isaac Newton was born. The story, of course, is that he's lying in the garden there, and instead of thinking about girls, he's thinking about the moon and how it goes around the earth and so on. And uh, he, uh, an apple falls, And the story goes, bang, he suddenly has the idea that the same thing that's making the apple fall is what's holding the moon in its orbit. Newton told this tale himself in his old age, claiming that with the fall of that apple, he realized that what held the planets in orbit was not a physical mechanism like Descartes' clockwork, but an invisible force he called gravity. And he was convinced that the force pulling apples down to Earth and keeping the moon in orbit around the Earth were one and the same. So for our business side, how does Sir Isaac Newton's law of motion and law of gravity gravitates with business and finance? Let's hear from our money doc, Mr. Hermes. Good morning, guys. How's everybody doing today? It's a beautiful day today. We just had an amazing weekend. Hopefully you're rested. And I love the fact that what MJ was just talking about with Sir Isaac Newton. We were talking about in business, opportunities come up, and she's talking about how Sir Isaac Newton actually developed all these ideas during the Great Plague. He was at home, he was in pandemic, he had nothing to do except study. So what did he do? He revolutionized and changed the world. You know, and that kind of brings me back to one of the ideas I had. A lot of the people that we actually support, our friends, my mom's friends, they actually went out and started making these masks because there was an opportunity, there was a need, and they're sitting at home and a lot of people didn't have anything else to do. So what do they do? They put their talents to use and started making masks for people, charging a very reasonable rate. You know, we wanted to support them, so we bought a bunch of those. And it just brings out the best in people when they're put to the grind, you know, put to the corner, they fight back. You know, they're not just gonna sit at home and do nothing. They have to actually go and create, go and build business. And one of the things that ties into Sir Isaac Newton as well is his theory, objects in motion tend to stay in motion and objects at rest tend to stay at rest. Now, are you at rest? 
or are you in motion? Is your business at rest? So one of the things you have to really look at is what do you need? What force do you need to apply to it? External force to get your business moving because you're going to have that compound effect, but it won't happen until you push it. So you don't want to be at rest. You want to be in motion. So that's one of the very important things you need to know from Sir Isaac Newton, but also about business. We're here. There's nothing we can do about it. We're at home. We're locked down. We can't go to the office. We can't have regular meetings, but that doesn't change the fact that you can actually do a lot in business. You just have to exert more force on it. So go out there, keep putting on force on your business, and we will see the compound effects in the weeks, the months, and the years to come. Guys, don't forget to give yourself a break, especially when the pandemic is back, especially when we're working. We always want to check in to our favorite hotel, which is, so one of our favorite hotel is in the Philippines, Boracay. And so don't forget that every work that you do, you have to pause and give yourself a break, just like the force. It cannot be repetitive the same over and over again. You got to re-energize yourself. So we were just talking about checking in with people, checking in with your favorite resorts or vacation places you've been to because as soon as this opens up, we're maybe going to be able to travel a little bit more. Uh, checking in with loved ones, make sure everyone's doing okay. You know, people think, oh, they're just going to be, you know, bothered by me. But no, people want to hear from you, just like you'd love to hear from somebody that cares about you to check in on you from time to time. But also what you can do right now, it's the start of the third quarter of the year. How are we going to check in with our business? Are the budgets right? Are the you know, income right? Are you doing as many calls as you want to be banking? You just got to figure out what that is and see and check it in. Hey guys, welcome to our dance. Today it's going to be different because we will have the men's version of Cucaracha by Mr. Hermes. Whoa. Teaching that, it's a surprise. I didn't so even let's be here for our new teacher. When you're moving in a cucaracha, you got to learn how to move your hips. Because if you start out dancing and don't know how to dance, you're not going to move your hips. You're just going to step back and forth. And it's going to look real stiff and awkward. So one of the things you can do is put your feet together and just move your hips from side to side. You can kind of put in a curve to it, a figure eight to it. And so you spread your legs out a little bit more and you can actually get a little bit more range of motion. You want to settle on the side. Settle. 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 Are you settle? I okay. love it. <laughs> so then you can incorporate that and actually move your feet so you're not just kind of going back and forth. So with the Kukaracha, we're going to actually do a 4 1 count. You're going to start on and because the last steps step on one. Don't ask me why, but they always end on one. And one. And two and three. So that's how the steps go. So starting with your feet together, you're gonna to actually say and two, and you're gonna go out to the left. And two. So that's gonna be and two. And you're gonna settle on this hip. Now the three is gonna come after and. You gotta say the and. And, and you're gonna lift up and three, settling this hip. And then you're gonna bring this foot over. And see that? Show you. Knees bent, and then this one's stiff. You lift up, it's still stiff. You lift your hip up. And four. And then your knee comes up. And one. And two. And three. And four. So that's where you go. You go and two. And three. And four. And one. And two. And Three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So you just get that slowly, slowly, slowly. Go so very systematic. Go very slow through each of those steps, and then as you get faster and you get more confident, you're going to end up looking like this. When you're doing.
so proud of the new teacher of Kukrat Jagas. Mr. Hermé. Because you always remember, when you teach something, two people learn. Because I'm always learning, even if I'm teaching, because I realize the steps that I'm saying to do, and then I realize why you have to do it, and it actually becomes easier. Because just watching a, a video, watching a, a, a teacher in person, you don't really see it. But once you actually do it, you actually do the steps and then tell someone else, hey, this is how you do it, you're going to learn more. So put that in business, put that in life, put it in, in your family, put it with your kids. It's a great way to actually teach somebody. Happy Monday! Ciao, everybody! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, press the button below. And if you want to subscribe and watch us in future videos, press the subscribe button. And you can follow us on other social media accounts as well. But have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.